Hi there, uh, Michelle and Papa again for the exam, and this is Alanzi again. Uh, so today we're going to be doing the abdominal exam. Uh, for the abdominal exam, the first thing you want to do is inspect. So I'm inspecting, inspecting for any kind of cyanosis, any kind of discoloration, any any prior you know surgery that he might have gone undergone, any kind of uh, striae. Uh, Okay. look for the colon sign you know for the blue seam discoloration in the peri peri umbilical area for for uh, for like internal bleeding and just be, basically look for any kind of blue you know discoloration you know when when people take take medications like anticoagulant you have those petechiae and purpura so you know I'm just you know, checking for that I'm also inspecting for any lumps any bumps and thing like that and it looks like you know, it's good and I'm also checking for his flat he's his, his abdomen is flat. Uh, after you know, I'm done with my uh, inspection, I'm gonna be doing the auscultation now. I'm gonna be auscultating his, uh, sounds. Okay, I can hear. Looks like he's hungry. Uh, once I hear them, then I can go all the way from the right upper to the lower. You know, I mean, you know, if you don't hear any any sounds for five five minutes, then that's a really a bad sign. You wanna you wanna take him to the ER, you know, right away. But in my case, you know, you know, his sounds are are good. Once I'm done with my with my with my diaphragm, now I wanna check with my bell to to uh, to check for the brewy to listen for brewery in the aorta, in the renal, renal, renal arteries. You can even look at the iliac arteries and the femoral arteries, okay? So in this case, I'm just gonna go the aorta and the, and the renal arteries. With the brewery, left umbilical. Left renal, right renal. You know, and again, I'm just listening for any kind of brewery sounds, which he does not. So once I'm done with my auscultation, now I'm gonna come and do my do my do my percussion. I'm just gonna percuss his 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 bowel sounds. Here for the tympanic, it's good. Uh, I, I'm also going to ask for the gastric, you know, bubbles. Okay, and you know, when I'm once I'm done done with the percussion of those, then I'm going to percuss his his liver. So what I'll first do is mid mid clavicular mid clavicular line right over here underneath from umbilical. I'm just going to hear for the sound. Timpani, timpani. And then you hear the dull sound. Okay, so you know I'm gonna mark that area right over here, and I'm gonna come from uh, you know under the under the nipple line, on again the right right mid right mid clavicular line, and I'm gonna hear the dull sound. Yeah, you know, and you know I can I can stop over there. Uh, so his his sounds went from dull, and you know went to tympanic, and the. Uh, and the liver span was about like you know five or six, which is which is normal. The the normally six to twelve, you know, uh, for the liver liver in margins. Uh, you know, same thing with the with the spleen. For the spleen, you wanna check the mid uh, anterior anterior axillary line, anterior you know you know axillary line, and then on the lowest lowest in you know, a margin, and you just wanna. Percus, take a deep breath in, out, take a deep breath in, hold, okay, out. So uh, what I was doing was I was trying to see if I hear when he breathes in and out, if I can hear the spleen, if the spleen goes down and if I hear the dull sound, that means that his spleen is enlarged. But if I don't hear any adults on an egg, and I just hear the tympanic, you know, which means good, then he doesn't have any enlargement of the spleen. 
Okay, once I'm done with the percussion, now I'm gonna come down and do my light you know, palpation. I'm just you know, checking for the pain. And now the deep, deep palpation. Again, you know, checking for any tenderness, any pain, any lumps, any bumps. Okay, you know, once I'm done with my, uh, over there, then I'm gonna you know, palpate his um, liver. So what I'll do is, so again, right over here you know, tell, and, and make sure you use your left hand to push the po posterior ribs upward and then give a good you know, take a deep breath in and you know, check for that liver out relax okay keep the same thing over here with the with the with my left hand uh take a deep breath in and out, there you go. Okay, what I'm doing is, you know, I'm trying to check check for my liver. Uh, it's it's normal to hear when he deeps, you know, he takes a deep breath in and out. It's normal to feel the lower edge of the liver. But if you're feeling the liver on, like really when he takes a deep breath in and out, if you're feeling on the lower, lower, lower edge of your, of your abdomen, then it's a bad sign of the enlargement of the liver. Same thing with the spleen. Like, you know, you're supposed to, hmm, you know, if it takes a deep breath in and out, and then and then you feel the spleen with your with your palpation, that means that his spleen is is enlarged. You're not supposed to to feel the spleen. Okay. Uh, uh, so once I'm done with that, and I'm you know I'm also gonna you know palpate the aorta. It's like right on the left side. You know, feel for the pulsation. Okay. I'm also gonna, you know, palpate for his right, you know, kidney. So again, yeah. Uh, for the, you know, you're checking for any kind of wolves, wolves, wolves tumor in the, in the kids. It's very common, common kidney, kidney tumor, tumor that you can find. Uh, once I'm done with that, then I'm gonna also palpate the inguinal notes and yeah that's it and now I'm going to do some uh, special special maneuver test uh, so the first one is the Murphy sign again I'm you know the, the the Murphy sign is to check for any kind of gallbladder issues so when I was you know uh, palpating his liver you know uh, and then if he if he complained of any any kind of pain when I pushed in you know you know that's a positive positive sign for you know, Murphy sign which which indicates like he might have some some issues with the gallbladder uh, here rebound tenderness you push your hand and then you're supposed to feel the pain once you lift up your hand you know you're not supposed to feel the pain when you're pushing in but when you lift up and if he's complaining of pain it, you know there is definitely I mean, something you know wrong uh, rose vein sign is a, another sign you can check for the appendicitis is what you do is in the left lower quadrant you push and then he's supposed to you know, if he feels pain on the right side that's a that's a positive sign for for a rose vein sign uh, I'm also going to check for the for the appendicitis using the iliopsoas uh, sign so what I'll tell is I'll tell my patient to bend the knees and the hip and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell the patient to like push up, and then if he's trying to uh, uh, pull up, and then if he, if there's a pain on the right lower quadrant, that's a positive sign of of uh, appendicitis. Again, you know, again with the knees flexed and the hips flat, I'm just gonna rotate my inward and outward, and if he if he if he has any pain on the right lower quadrant. You know that is a sign of the appendicitis because those those muscles, those psoas muscles, and the obturator muscle they pull in. You know when I stretch and that that causes the pain in the appendix to cause appendicitis. So so that's a sign. Uh, I can also tell him uh, so, uh, uh, to do a heel jar test. Basically, in the heel jar test, what you do is you just you know stand up in the heel and then if you if you feel the if you feel the pain, you know, that means uh, like a positive sign of appendicitis. Uh, I'll also do a CBA, CBA tenderness. 
So what I'll do is come over here. So right over here. Any pain? No. Any pain? No. Perfect. And that's you know I'm checking for any kind of kidney kidney I mean, infection, and just they don't you know, you know I just missed one more. Uh, ascites, you know, check for the ascites. So what I'll have is I'll tell my patient to draw a line over here. I'm gonna put a few, my one, one palm of my hand over here, and I'm gonna tap on the other side. And if I feel the vibration, that's a positive sign of, you know, ascites. In his case, I don't see anything. And I think that is it. Let me just check, make sure I got everything. Mm -hmm. Spleen already done, right? No, I think I did everything. Aerodite injury, no. Yeah, thank you.